Sunday. A Bay Area State Senator under attack tonight by a controversial Republican lawmaker from Georgia. And for this Thanksgiving, down on their luck, but full of hope and resilience. ABC 7 News begins in 60 seconds. Shop over 100 doorbusters for your home at the Living Spaces Black Friday Doorbuster event. This Friday at 7, don't miss an extraordinary variety of the best deals for your living room, dining room, and bedroom, as well as mattresses, home decor, and more. Plus, get free next day shipping on everything and pay no interest until 2025 on select purchases with your good credit. Save big while supplies last at the Living Spaces Black Friday Doorbuster event. This Friday, starting at 7. Living Maui is such an amazing blend of people and opportunities and experiences. Full of luxury. It's full of fun. Kanapali is one of the most beautiful stretches of White Sand Beach in the state of Hawaii, if not worldwide. The food scene on Maui has really elevated. A great melting pot of all these different ethnic backgrounds and the chefs are doing all these great things. We're a living, thriving, evolving culture over here, and we want to share that with the rest of the world. Building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. Tonight, two legislators locked in a battle on Twitter. State Senator Scott Weiner of San Francisco and far-right Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia. But their fight is over much more than just words. Good evening, I'm Amadeus. Mm -hmm. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Congresswoman Greene name-calling Senator Weiner while advocating the passage of an anti-transgender law that she is introducing to Congress. It's just days after the deadly mass shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has been and following the story, he's in the newsroom for us. Uh, Tim, this is getting nasty. Yeah, Dan Alma, it certainly is. And this isn't the first time that Wiener and Green have clashed with each other on Twitter, although this time it does seem to be especially bad. Wiener tells me despite the homophobic hate spewed at him by the Georgia Republican, he doesn't plan to stop fighting for what he believes in.